Okay, so we have a follow-up here um, on the Japanese yen position. If you remember, I was looking for a, a bit of a pop on uh, the yen for a couple of reasons. If you look at the hourly bar here, uh, we have the market moving away uh, from the from the moving averages, and this is oops, this this moving this moving away from the moving average. If you go into this is. Uh, uh, in the Dallas video is what I call the radical change. And anytime you get a radical change like this, where you have a moving average moving like this and the market moving away, uh, you, you run into the potential for the market to react to the upside. Uh, you can see here that we've started uh, what I also call the liftoff process. What we're looking for here also uh, is the weave where we'll see the moving averages weave together like this. And when you see the market weaving together, that is the compression. Compression. And just in the case that we've got buyers in, in play, we have sellers in play, both pushing the market around. So we're going to uh, anticipate a resulting move back to the upside. So let's go back over here and we'll, we'll try and gauge one of these reversals, go ahead and lay the market on here. Uh, you can see that uh, this actually I'm taking from uh, the quick start. So if you go back over the quick start here, uh, I, will, I cover why uh, or how rather to select a retracement so you'll understand why I started up here and moved down to there. Um, so moving forward, I'm going to take a look at the retracement for the market moving from this last little high here to the current price. We'll go ahead and drop the, the market in there. So we've got a couple of targets here, expecting the market to get back up to this 166, uh, possibly to 103.70. Now I, I know that the, the pound is under, uh, sorry, that the uh, yen is growing very, very strong across the board, but that does not mean that uh, you know we can't get the market pushing back to the upside. We'll go ahead and check a couple of other trade possibilities here. In this case, not quite. Basically, what I was doing was seeing if I could measure from this high to this low uh, to, to uh, use this as a, as a starting off point for a retracement back up with the pound. So we've got an open position here. We're running from 97.55 and hopefully taking this up to the the $100 level. The area that I'm looking for to stop out is if we manage to break back through this market structure right there, uh, which is, whoops, go ahead and put the pointer on. So the, if the market breaks back down through, whoops, my apologies. Oh yes, uh, 96. 71. That's the level that I'm using for my stop right now. So uh, long trade 97.55. I'm holding out, stopping out at 96.71, uh, looking for a move back up to the 100 area.